Let's see the review of Android 12 on Poco X2. I have made a video on how to install it. If you haven't watched it, the link is in the description box below. It has many features as well as bugs. To know everything, watch the video till the end. Now let's get to the about phone. As you can see, the Android version is Android S, the security device is of April 5 and the kernel version is 4.14 kernel. Now let's see some features in network and internet and geo. In advance, we get Wi-Fi calling and here you also get a volt. As you can see, there is no symbol for volt. In hotspot, we get Wi-Fi hotspot. Then you get USB tethering, Bluetooth tethering and Ethernet tethering and connect devices and connection preferences. We get Bluetooth, gas, printing, file receiver Bluetooth, Chromebook, driving mode, nearby share and Android Auto and apps notifications. You get default app, Google Assistant, screen time and special app access. For notifications you get separate tab. In notifications you get conversations. In bubbles, we get notification bubbles. Then down here you get notification history. Device and app notifications. Notification on lock screen. Sensor notification. Do not disturb mode. Wireless MRC alert. Hide hide notification. Allow notification snoozing. Notification dot on app icon and blink light. In battery, you get battery saver. In this, you get option like use battery saver. In this, you get extreme battery saver. Here, you get options like when to use. Suppose you choose always use. And turn on battery saver. All the third party apps get disabled. As you can see, here you also get option of essential apps. Suppose you want DRM info. Even the battery saver is on, you can still use the app. As you can see, then you can set a schedule and turn off and charge. Here you also get the option of battery percentage. That is show battery percentage in status bar. And the battery level is average. I get around 6 hours in one time. In storage, we get free of space. Then you get smart storage. That is storage manager. And you turn it on. We can remove photos, videos over 30 days, 60 days, and 90 days. In sound, we can choose the media sounds. Then you get download list mode, phone ringtone, media, etc. But down here, you don't get an option for Amazon and answer. In display, you get brightness level, adaptive brightness. In lock screen, you get privacy. In this, you get notification on lock screen. Add text on lock screen, show lockdown option, wake screen for notification, etc. Then you get screen timeout, dark theme, font size, display size, night light. In colors, you can choose a natural, boosted, saturated, and adaptive. Then you get auto red screen. Here you get option of smooth display. I think now the refresh rate is 60 hertz. When you turn the smooth display on, it will use the 90 hertz and 120 hertz. Then you get increased the sensitivity and double add to wake. And install the wallpaper. In the wallpaper, we can choose the wallpaper. In style, you can choose the accent color, font, tab, etc. And in grid, you can choose the grid size. In security, down here, you get screen lock and fingerprint. You don't get an option for face unlock, even in smart lock. And got it. As you can see, there is no option for face unlock. And in pattern, the animation for pattern is changed. As you can see. And in pattern, the only option is 3 into 3. In privacy, we get bonus manager. Here you can allow or deny permission for certain apps. Then you get show password. In privacy, you get a same option. Then you get personalized using app data. Auto based service of Google. Google location history. Activity control, ads, etc. In location, you can allow a location for certain apps. In safety and emergency, you can add your information. Or as emergency alert, etc. In system, you get gestures. In this, you get double tap gesture. As you can see your gesture of double tap. Here you get open assistant, take a screenshot, play and pause, Siri send app and open notification. At the last you get require harder tabs. Then you get swipe for notification. Quickly open the camera. System navigation. 
here you get this navigation two button and three button and it's looking fine now just select selected the back button home button and the recent as you can see it's looking fine even the two button as you can see the navbar comes even three button as you can see the navbar comes and in gesture in settings you get left edge and right edge then you get one hand mode prevent ringing and power menu in this you get device control and sensitive content so these are the features of android 12 and there are many bugs the first bug is sometimes the touch doesn't work the system ui is a bit laggy second the ringtone doesn't work say in settings and sound settings and phone ringtone as you can see in phone ringtone when you click on pixel sound it crashes suppose you choose minimal medallies and this one it doesn't save as you can see it doesn't save as you can see it shows none so you can't hear a phone ringtone as well as notify sound and alarm sound you can't hear it in this you get Google Assistant 2.0 Weather As you can see, you get Google Assistant 2.0 But many times it doesn't understand your voice Next bug In the recents, you get select and screenshot But in select, when you click on it As you can see, it doesn't select anything See, you can't copy anything Let's try it again as you can see, it is not working. Sometimes the screen randomly freezes. So you have to restart your phone. And the main bug, video doesn't work. In YouTube, Instagram, the video doesn't work. I'll show you in YouTube. And you click on video. One wrong step and you may break. As you can see, it freezes. First flash the added elements. As you can see, the video freezes and it's very annoying. See, I'll show you again. A desktop MIUI room with fastboard. See, I have flat. As you can see, the video randomly freezes. And in Instagram, in Instagram, in Reels, when you click on any video, it doesn't play. As you can see, It simply doesn't place. Normal screenshot doesn't work. When you hold the power button and volume down button, a screenshot doesn't take. As you can see, you can't take screenshots. For taking screenshot, on suppose you are on YouTube and you have to take screenshots, go to recent and then screenshot. So normal screenshot doesn't work. By the way. Here you get an error. The error is serial console enabled. That is performance is impacted. It shows to disable it check bootloader. Now let's check the given score. The single score is 391 and the multi score is 1338. Now let's check the safety net. And run test. Unfortunately it's failed. In DRM info down here as you can see the wide when l1 is looking fine now let's see the camera data is enabled or not the manual camera continue and start as you can see it's enabled now let's check the play store certification in play store and settings and about at the last as you can see, the device is not certified. In this, you get a stock launcher with customizations like notification dot at a glance, adapt to home screen, swipe to Google app, overizations, allow home screen rotation, and about section. In this, you don't get any stock camera. As you can see, I have installed Gcam, but you can't see any stock camera. So we have to install Gcam to work, and it's working fine. As you can see, now let's see the call working or not.
As you can see the call is working fine. Android 12 is just ported for Poco X2. So it has many bugs. After a few updates it will get stable. Thank you so much for watching. I'll meet you in the next one. What just happened?